Hello boys and girls, Miss Johns is back with day two of your choice writing assignment. Um, yesterday your task was to brainstorm some ideas of topics you may want to write about um, for your choice topic. Now remember it can be something you already know a lot about or it can be something that you're interested in researching. So yesterday Miss Johns um, brainstormed some topics and the one I ended up choosing was owls. You know, Miss Johns and Miss Tanner both love owls a whole lot, okay? But to be specific, I needed to choose one type of owl to make my research a little easier, okay? So today I'm going to be starting my BMME plan and you need to do the same thing. So what I suggest doing is doing your plan with me, watching what I do and then you doing the same thing on your own sheet of paper, okay? Now, First thing I need to do is set up my plan. So we know that at the top of our plan, we have our topic, okay? Then we have our B for beginning, M, M, two middles, E for end. And at the very bottom, we have our sources. Okay, and in my case, I ended up having two sources, okay? You don't need to do more than two. As long as you have at least two, you're okay, if you're researching something, all right? So my topic, the type of owl that I chose to write about was snowy owls, okay? You've probably seen a snowy owl before. If you don't think you have, look up a picture. They're really cool animals, okay? Now, the first thing I did was I looked through some sources, some uh, websites on the internet that could help me with my research. And I found some research in two places, okay? So one of my sources was National Geographic, online of course. Okay, that'll be source one. And my other source was the Owl Research Institute. Okay, these are the two main places I found my information about the snowy owl. Now, boys and girls, if you remember from class, the hardest part of our plan is coming up with our two middles, our two main ideas, okay? So I need to think of two main ideas that I'm going to talk about when it comes to snowy owls, okay? All of these facts I'm going to give, what main idea could they fit under, okay? So as I thought about it, I know that my middle one is going to be all about the characteristics of snowy owls. In other words, what are snowy owls like? What do they look like? How much do they weigh? How tall are they? Okay, what color are they? All of their characteristics. And another middle that I'm going to be using is behavior. How do they act? What do they do in the wild? These are all really important ideas that the reader would need to know in order to understand snowy owls, okay? So I'm going to, can't forget my squiggly wiggly, okay? I'm going to underline those two middle main ideas so I know that is what my whole middle is going to be about, all right? So I'm gonna start by planning my middles. I've already done my research, okay? But if you haven't yet, I suggest doing that today so you have information to put into your plan. I've already done my research, so I'm just going to kind of fill it in for you and model how to complete this BMME plan, okay? So for characteristics, remember in your plan, you only use bullet points. For characteristics, I found out that snowy owls weigh three and a half to six and a half pounds. That is a characteristic that they have. That is how much they weigh. And remember, don't forget, you need to write down which source you found your information from. 
I found that information from National Geographic, so I'm going to put a number one, okay? I also found out that females are darker than males. And the males are usually whiter than the females. I also found that from source number one. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about how tall they are, how big they get. Okay, I found that snowy owls grow to be 21 to 26 inches tall with a wingspan of five feet. Boys and girls, that's about as tall as Miss John's. Miss John's is about five feet, three inches tall. So their wingspan is almost as tall as me. So they can get to be pretty big. I found that in source two. Okay. And I also know that they are white. I'm gonna squeeze it in up here. To blend with the snow. Okay. And that came from source number two. Now, I'm kind of running out of room here, so I think I'm gonna move my ending down a little bit because I still need to include my original thought, okay? Remember, an original thought can be a comparison, an imagine, an anecdote, which is a personal story. I don't really have a personal story with a snowy owl. However, many of you have probably seen the movie Harry Potter. And if you've seen Harry Potter, you know that Harry Potter has a pet snowy owl, okay? So I'm going to use a comparison. And I'm going to um, compare the characteristics of the snowy owl that I learned about to what I saw in Harry Potter. So I'm just going to put comparison. Harry Potter. I'm only reminding myself of what I'm going to write about. You do not have to write everything out yet. These are just bullet points. Please remember that. Okay. Now my first middle is pretty much done guys. All right. So now I just have to fill in the information for behavior for my second middle. Okay. So once again, I'm going to use bullet points for behavior. I learned that snowy owls live up to 10 years. They can be up to 10 years old. That came from source one. Okay. Now for behavior, I'm also going to talk about what they eat. That's very important for us to know. So I found out that snowy owls are carnivores and carnivores means that they eat meat. So they eat meat, whoops, like rodents, like mice, birds, and fish. And that also came from source one. Oops. Okay. Now, I also found out that snowy owls, they live, that's part of their behavior where they live, live in the cold Arctic tundra. That is a very cold place. That is why they are white, to blend in with the snow. I found that from source two. And I also found out that they are nocturnal. Nocturnal means they're mostly awake at night. That was also from source two. Now I can't forget my original thought, okay? I think I'm going to use an imagine because we know Miss Johns loves to use imagine. So I'm not going to write it out fully. I'm just going to give myself an idea. Imagine seeing a snowy owl hunt. And I'm going to tell you more than that, but that's just how I'm going to start off my imagine. 
Now, I have my two middles complete. Now I just need to go back and plan my beginning and my ending. Now, remember that a beginning, a beginning hooks the reader, gets the reader's attention, tells a little bit about the topic, and tells your two middles, okay? So to get the reader's attention, I'm going to describe what it may look like if a snowy owl flew by. So I'm going to say a flutter of pure white to get the reader's attention. They're probably wondering, what's a flutter of pure white? Is something flying by? And then I'm going to tell them a little bit about my topic. I'm going to tell a little bit about how snowy owls are amazing birds of prey because we know they hunt other animals, right? They're carnivores, okay? And then I need to make sure I tell my two middles characteristics and behavior. Okay, that's all a beginning does, boys and girls. It gets the reader's attention, tells a little bit about the topic, and tells your two middles. Now, our ending, okay? Hmm, I need to think about how I can wrap it up and leave the reader with something to think about, okay? So I'm going to say that these owls are mystical creatures just to kind of get the reader's attention again before I wrap it up. We often see snowy owls in movies. We don't really see them out in the wild very often, especially because it doesn't get very cold in Florida, okay? So often in movies, okay? And for my way to leave the reader thinking, sorry, that's my, <laughs> that's my washing machine in the background, okay? Now, the way I'm going to leave the reader thinking is I'm going to use kind of a movie reference, okay? I'm going to use a Harry Potter reference, and I'm going to say, if I were to go to Hogwarts, I would choose a snowy owl as my companion, okay? But I'm just going to give myself a bullet point to remind myself of what I'm going to say. If I were to go to Hogwarts. Okay, and there we go, boys and girls. That is my completed plan. You need to make sure you have your beginning, two middles, and an ending in your middles. Use your evidence, use your original thought in your beginning. Introduce the topic to the reader, get their attention. Okay, and at the end, wrap it up and leave the reader with something to think about. Please do not forget your sources. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, please make sure you um, send me a message on Remind or call me on Zoom. Make sure you ask me. If you would like me to look at your plan, you can always send me a picture and I would be happy to take a look at it for you. But that's going to be it for today. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, I believe, to show you how to write a beginning. See you guys later. Bye.